Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our fourth lesson on a given form four mathematics topic called differentiation. So we are looking at our tenth example, which is a past cases equation that was tested in 1996, paper one, question number 19. It reads that the equation of a curve is given by y is equals to 3x squared uh, minus 4x plus 1. Part A of the question, we are required to find the gradient function of the curve and its value when x is equals to 2. So for us to get the gradient function, uh, we take the derivative of the first variable, which is given as y, uh, divided by the derivative of uh, the second variable, of course, which is uh, x. So we talk of dy dx. So to find the gradient function, we need to differentiate. So to differentiate the first um, term, of course, the power will pre-multiply the coefficient so that we have 3 uh, multiplied by 2, then x to the power of, we subtract 1 from the uh, power. Then, of course, here it means the power was 1. So 1 multiplied by negative 4. So I'll have negative 4 multiplied by 1. Then, of course, I subtract 1 from the uh, power. Then, of course, this one means it was x power 0. So 0 multiplied by 1, I'm going to have a 1. Then, of course, multiply by 0, then x to the power of 0, then I subtract 1 from the uh, power. So, on simplification, 3 by 2, I'm going to get 6, uh, x to the power of 2 minus 1, I'll get power 1, then, of course, minus 4, that is negative 4 times 1, I'll get 4, then x power 0, then, of course, plus anything multiplied by 0, the whole term will disintegrate to uh, 0, which can be rewritten as uh, 6x, then, of course, minus a 4 because x power 0 will give you 1. 1 by negative 4, you'll get negative uh, 4. Therefore, this is our gradient uh, function. Then its value when x is equal to 2 uh, will be given by, so we'll talk of dy uh, dx whenever x is equal to 2 will be given by, so we'll talk of 6 into uh, the x is 2, then of course minus 4. So this will be equal to 6 by 2, I'll get uh, 12 then of course minus 4, so 12 uh, minus uh, 4, I'm going to get uh, 8 as uh, the gradient uh, at the point x is equals to 2. So this one is simply equal to uh, the gradient, so this is the gradient uh, of the curve, the gradient of the curve at the point when x is equals to uh, 2. So we've answered a part A of the question. Then we move to part B of the question, whereby we are told to determine uh, the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point at uh, 2, 5. So we need to get the equation of the tangent to the curve. Now there's one key point we had already uh, stated. We said that uh, the gradient of the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, the gradient of the tangent to a curve, to a given curve, uh, at a certain point, at a given point, at a given point, will always be equal to the gradient, it will always be equal to the gradient of the curve at the same point, at the same point, at the same uh, point. What we mean here is that suppose this was our curve, then of course we are having, uh, that is a tangent, uh, passing through uh, one point of this particular uh, curve. Let's say this was the point uh, 2, 5. This was the point 2, uh, comma 5. Then the gradient of this particular tangent, this tangent to the curve through this particular point is equal to the gradient of this particular curve through the same same point. So in short, we are saying that the gradient of the tangent to the curve will always be equal to the gradient of the curve uh, through the same same point where the a tangent is cutting, that is, is touching that particular curve. So in short, we are saying that the gradient of the tangent to the curve will also be equal to 8, which was equal to the gradient of the curve through the same point. Now that we have the gradient, and of course we are given a, a point through which that particular tangent passes, we can easily uh, get the equation. Now to get the equation, we need a point and of course the gradient. So we are given the point as 2, 5. So I'll let this to be 2, uh, 5. Then I'll pick a general point, x, y. So I'll label this one as x1, y1. Then this to be x2, uh, y2. So we know that the gradient is equal to changing y over changing x, which is y2. 
minus y1 over uh, x2 minus x1. So on substitution, uh, we're going to get the following. So the gradient is 8, which is equals to my y2, of course, is y. So I'll have y minus uh, my y1 is uh, 5, then divided by uh, my x2, of course, is x, uh, then minus my x1 is 2. So I'll make this a fraction and, of course, do a cross multiplication. So this one multiplies with that, this one with that. So I'm going to have 8 into x minus 2 uh, being equal to 1 into a y minus a 5. So 8 by x, I'll get 8x. Then minus 8 by 2, I'll get a 16. Being equal to 1 by y, I'll get y. Then minus a 1 by 5, I'll get 5. So I'll take 5 to this other side. So that I'm having 8x minus 16 uh, plus 5 uh, being equal to y. So clearly uh, 8x uh, minus uh, negative 16 plus 5, I'll get negative uh, 11 being equal to y. Therefore, it means that uh, the equation of the tangent was given by the following. So the equation was y is equal to uh, 8x minus 11. So this was the equation of the tangent to the curve through the point 2. Five. So we check B Roman 2 of the question whereby we are required to find the angle at which the tangent to the curve at the point 2, 5 makes with the horizontal. So remember the horizontal is the same as saying the x axis. So suppose this was our Cartesian plane such that we are having the x axis and of course uh, the y axis. Then I'll let this particular tangent to be passing uh, from the y-axis towards the x-axis. Huh? So this was the tangent. The equation of the tangent was y is equals to 8x minus 11. So this is y uh, is equals to 8x then minus uh, 11. Now the equation, that is the angle which the tangent makes with the, uh, that is the, uh, the angle which the tangent to the curve through the point 0.25 makes with the horizontal. So this is what we are calling the horizontal. This is the horizontal. Huh? Then, of course, the y is what we call the vertical. This one is the uh, vertical. So the angle that it makes with the horizontal is this particular angle here. That is the angle theta. So clearly you can see the distance from here to here is what we are calling a change in x. Then this distance is what we are calling the uh, change in y. Therefore, if we want to get that particular angle, we're going to apply uh, the tan. So we know that the tan of theta is given by uh, opposite over adjacent, uh, opposite of adjacent. So clearly the opposite uh, to this angle theta is the change in y, then divided by uh, the adjacent to this angle is the change in uh, x. Then of course this one is equals to change in over change in x is the same as saying the gradient uh, of that particular line. So the establishment are being made here is that the term of theta uh, will always be equal to the gradient. The term of theta is equal to the gradient. So because the gradient here is 8, we're going to say that the term of theta will be equal to 8. So clearly, a theta will be equal to uh, the term inverse of 8. Therefore, the angle, the angle made, uh, which is theta, will be equal to, you take shift tan of 8, uh, shift tan 8, your calculator is going to give you uh, an angle of 82.87 uh, degrees. This one I've recorded uh, correct to uh, four significant figures. Therefore, the angle that uh, the tangent makes with uh, the horizontal or the x-axis will be uh, 82.87 degrees. So that was uh, B Roman 2. Then we look at uh, B Roman 3, uh, whereby we're being told that the equation of the line through the point 25, which is perpendicular to the tangent in B Roman 1 above. We know that for perpendicular lines, the product of the gradients should always give us a negative 1. Therefore, M1, M2 should give us negative 1 if the lines are perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular lines, those are representing the tangent and its normal. So M1, which was the gradient of the, uh, that is, uh, the uh, tangent was 8. Therefore, we'll talk of 8 multiplied by M2 should give us negative 1. 
uh, therefore clearly our m2 will be given by i divide through by 8 divide through by 8 so the m2 uh, the gradient of the perpendicular uh, m2 will be given by uh, this two will cancel out so will be given by negative 1 over uh, 8 now they want the equation uh, through the same point 2 5 so the point is uh, 2 5 so 2 comma 5 uh, then of course I'll pick a general point x comma y so I'll label this one as x1 y1 then this will be uh, x2 so this is x2 uh, y2 so you know that gradient uh, is given by the change in y by 2 minus y1 over change in x that is x2 minus x1 now the gradient of the perpendicular is a negative 1 over 8 which is equals to my y2 of course will be y then minus uh, y1 is 5 then divided by my x2 is x then minus my x1 is uh, 2 so we're gonna do cross multiplication so this multiplies with that then of course this one with that so I'll have negative 1 into x minus 2 uh, being equal to uh, 8 into y minus 5 so negative 1 by x I'll get negative uh, x negative 1 by negative 2 I'll get a positive 2 being equal to uh, 8y minus 8 by 5 I'll get uh, 40 therefore it means that our equation uh, will be given by so the equation is being given by we are having a negative x uh, then of course plus 2 I'll take 40 to this other side so this will be 2 it will become a positive 40 uh, being equal to 8y so negative x uh, plus 42 that is uh, uh, 2 plus 40 is equals to 8y so clearly 8y is equals to negative x plus 42 which can be written as we can divide through by 8 over 8 over 8 that, that is to change it into the general form so y will be equal to a negative 1 over 8x uh, then of course plus uh, 42 42 over 8 we can simplify this one uh, by 2 by 2 this will be 4 then by 2 uh, this will be 2 by 2 this will be 1 so you can say the equation is y is equals to negative 1 over 8 uh, x then of course plus 21 over 4 therefore this is the equation of a perpendicular to the given uh, tangent then we look at question 11 which is a past cases question tested in 2021 paper 1 question number 16 it reads that a curve is given by y is equals to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 12 but of the question we are required to find the gradient function of the curve gradient function we take dy which is the first variable divided by dx which is the a second variable so to differentiate of course the 3 will pre multiply with the coefficient so i'll have 3 multiplied by 2x power 3 i subtract 1 from the power then the same case 2 will pre multiply so minus 3 are multiplied by 2x power 2 i subtract 1 from the power this one means it was power 1 so this will pre multiply a negative 12 multiplied by 1 then of course x power 1 uh, minus uh, 1 then this one means it was x power 0 so this will be a plus 12 multiplied by 0 x power 0 minus 1 so on simplification we'll have dy dx uh, being equal to of course this will be 6 so this is 6 x power 2 uh, then of course uh, minus 3 by 2 I'll still get 6 x to the power of 1 then of course this will be minus a 12 x power 0 of course this part will just disintegrate to 0 so that means our dy dx will be given by a 6 x squared a 6 x squared minus a 6 x and then of course minus a 12 because x power 0 will give you 1 1 by negative 12 you'll get a negative 12 so we are gonna have a 6 x squared minus 6 x minus a 12 so that is the gradient function then part b of the question they want us to determine the equation of the normal to the curve to get the equation of the normal we first of all need to have the gradient of the a tangent so we're gonna get a dy dx a dy dx at the point at the point one negative one 
So of course the x coordinate will be one. So this will be equal to six, where there is x I substitute with one uh, squared, then of course minus six into one, uh, then of course minus 12. So our dy dx through that particular point will be given by, uh, this will be uh, six uh, multiplied by one, then of course minus six multiplied by one minus 12. So this will be six minus six uh, minus 12. 6 minus 6 will give us 0. So 0 minus 12, we're going to remain with a negative 12. Therefore, this is the gradient. Uh, this one was the gradient of uh, the uh, curve, the gradient of the curve. But we know that the gradient of the curve at a given point is equal to the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the same point. Therefore, the gradient, uh, gradient of the tangent uh, the gradient of the tangent at the curve at the point 1, 1 will be equal to the gradient of the curve, gradient of the curve through the same point uh, at the point 1, 1, of course, which was equal to negative 12. Now, since we know that the, um, uh, gra that is the tangent is always perpendicular to the normal, we'll say that since the tangent, uh, since the tangent is always perpendicular, since the tangent is perpendicular uh, to the normal, uh, to the normal, it means that the gradient of the tangent, uh, the gradient of the tangent uh, multiplied by the gradient uh, of the normal, the gradient of the normal must give you negative one. Perpendicular lines, the product of the gradient must always be negative one. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent was negative 12 uh, multiplied by uh, the gradient of the normal. The gradient of the normal should give us negative 1. Therefore, the gradient of the normal, uh, the gradient of the normal will be equal to, if you divide through by uh, negative 12 uh, over negative 12 over negative 12, you'll get the gradient of the normal being equal to a uh, positive 1 over uh, 12. That is negative, negative will give you a positive. Therefore, to get the equation of the normal, we need to have a point at the gradient. We already given a point as a 1, then of course negative 1. Then we'll pick a general point x, y. Then I'll let this one to be x1, uh, y1. Then this to be x2, uh, y2. Then of course we substitute in the equation of uh, the gradient. We know that the general Equation of the gradient is given by, uh, we talk of uh, the gradient. Uh, gradient is always given by change in y, which is y2 minus y1, over change in x, which is x2 minus x1. So the gradient is 1 over 12. Huh? So we'll talk of 1 over 12 being equal to y2, of course, will be y minus uh, x2 uh, will be negative 1. That is y2 minus y1, so that is y minus minus uh, 1 divided by x2 is x, minus x1, of course, is 1. So this was minus, then y1 is negative 12. So negative, ne that is negative 1. Negative, negative, of course, will yield a positive. So on cross multiplication, this will multiply with that. Then, of course, this one with this. So we'll have 1 into x minus 1 uh, being equal to 12 into y plus 1. So this will be x minus 1 being equal to uh, 12y, then of course plus uh, 12. So I'll take this one to the other side. So this is x minus 1 minus uh, 12 uh, being equal to uh, 12 uh, y. So this will be x minus 13 uh, being equal to 12y. So clearly a uh, 12y will be equal to x minus a 13. So I can divide through by 12, uh, by 12. I also divide through uh, by 12. That is to uh, leave it in the general form. So it means that our y will be equal to 1 over 12, 1 over 12 x, then minus a 13 over 12. Therefore, this is the equation of the uh, normal to the curve. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the sound button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy.
Thank you very much.